This is AmsterdamVideo.com. Hey all, it's Thursday. And today I'm at Beethovenstraat in Amsterdam's South District. The Beethovenstraat is known as the shopping street for the more wealthy people. It's not as high priced as PC Hoofdstraat, which is the absolute high priced street of Amsterdam. But it is for the yeah the more wealthy people. I've just about started my walk at Stadionweg, exit of the tram. In this street, for instance, you will find the Imaginarium, the upper class toy store, with some uh, pretty awesome miniature toys. Also, there are some decent clothing shops. Mixed in between those shops are also some uh, more regular stores. For instance, Blokker in Gal en Gal, which you will find practically everywhere in the Netherlands. But also there are specialty stores like these. A smoothie bar. Now that's awesome. Look at that. Doggy in a crate on the rear of a bicycle. Ah, doggy gets to come and shop. There's also a coffee company and a hotel here. We've just about reached the halfway point of Beethovenstraat with some nice seating arrangements or toys for kids to play on. I think I'll go down to Starbucks to have myself some coffee. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. At Starbucks Beethovenstraat. Quite crowded indeed today with all the school kids. Anyway, down by. Alrighty, just left Starbucks. Now let's continue the Beethovenstraat walk. Uh, by the way, it's paid parking here. But the first hour you can park for just a dime. Oh yeah! Japanese delicacies. Let's check this out. Uh, Japanese groceries. Awesome. Yeah guys, sometimes you just have to indulge. Media. And here at the Apollo Laan, we've reached the north end of Be Beethovenstraat. So this is the Apollo Laan. And apparently that's an electric children's transport bicycle. Huh. I never seen that model before. A nice and green area, the Apollo Lawn. And there are some uh, large houses on here as well. Man, 
I didn't know they still did that. Fantasia. Well, time to leave this neighborhood. Museum van Gogh Museum.
that train ride, tram ride I made to Dam Square. Chilling on Dam Square. Oh dear. Pitching galore. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'll go and grab some damn good ice. Look at all those pigeons. Damn good eyes. <laughs> I like a liquor, it says. Anyway, chocolate and strawberry ice cream with whipped cream. <laughs> Itadakimasu! The view from the terrace here is still good. Even though it's no longer a coffee company. Alright, had some nice cream. Had damn good ice cream. <laughs> but now the time has come for me to return to HQ to little Miss Chibi. Back with the little miss, yeah! It's sweetheart. Oh. Awesome sweetheart. Yeah! Yeah! So now that I'm back at HQ, let's take a closer look at the groceries I purchased at Media. Let's start with the bag they sold it in. It says Made in yeah. A complete assortment of Japanese groceries, sushi and delicacies. The drawing of their store. And the address. With phone number. Very important. So, uh, to begin with. I got... Tori Teriyaki I got Tsukune I got Yan Yan Sticks in the strawberry flavor and I got three bottles of Ramun Japanese soda pop. The Ramun is known for the ball in the neck of the bottle, which you have to push down to actually open it. 
So in conclusion, here's the cash register ticket. As you can see, it cost me 50 and a half euros. But I can enjoy some Japanese goodies tonight. Haha. <laughs> How awesome is that? Maybe yeah. And that, my dear friends, concludes today's video. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you again tomorrow. Hey, cheerio!